Hello, I am Jackie uh, Kasashiva here. Oh, I forgot the bottle one thing. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, we are back for another episode of uh, my hometown with Running Asylum. So yeah, it's gone pretty mixed here. Uh, we got a draw against Lund that expected like fifth, maybe sixth. Uh, Felix Lundgren, uh, Victor Larsson, but they did come back there. We lost against Haning and we did rotate, so that was the issue there. I should have probably not rotate, but I want to give some players that do not play that much some game time, so yeah. TGFF, we won, did a brilliant match here, 4-0. Felix Lundgren with two other goals there, Theo Lind and... Victor Larsson, Theo Lind has been amazing recently actually. He scored in almost every single game here. Against Dalkurd, well known team that's uh, played even in Allsvenska just one season. So a pretty close game there where we managed to get the draw in then. We were up 2-0 even Simon Kroon and then Theo Lind there. And then Vassalun we won in the end. <laughs> it was a little bit lucky. Monsela was on uh, Theo Lind there, scoring in the end there against Vassalun. Then we lost against Karlstam. Yeah, they probably is better than us and going to finish before us. Biko forward, a very lucky victory here against the bottom team. But we managed to win, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then lastly, we did a superb match. And Karim Saric, I got him in here and he was brilliant, scored a hat-trick and I believe we did an assist as well and was, yeah we played lovely football, I don't know, uh, his corner is like 10th in the table so it isn't the easiest match but still Saric with a great goal there scored, Theo Lind scored then, but I believe this is assisted from Saric, I don't know, it's uh, Oscar Larsson there, and then we have Saric again, uh, Andersson Sigelund, and then Danielsson the hits it in crossbar. I was kind of just wow that our uh, central defender can do that. And now we have the pack tag. Oh, here is Saric, through ball pass there, really good. So, today I'm meeting Gable, and of course, I haven't gone to the match. Of course, we have to go through those days. Uh, so yeah, Gafle are second, so they are not dominating the league, it's pretty close actually. We, I believe we have like, we have renowned his contract, and Lawson, yeah, just a lot of players. And uh, what else, what else? Why do we have three defenders? That seems kind of silly. <laughs> and I'm going to give you some... Like okay, when this is still Diablo, so this is a tough match after all. So we'll go with this line. Um, yeah, Theo Lin, Moscow score. Sorry, there's a little bit. Yeah, not too many that score goals beside Theo Lin, but we have a great goal scorer there. Moselaus on with three assists as well there. Uh, Oscar Larsson, our best assist there. Theo Lin and Moselaus on. Moselaus on that has just big all the. Uh, home matches is we just play with the offensive midfielder at home and sorry as you can see here yeah, after that match is really got up there so Tunesen, Danison, Kil, Kil, Kilderich I'm trying to in the last match I played where is he he was pissed off uh, it would have been Kemp so just <laughs> this match I played Kilderich just make them all happy that's really weird. Why Why is... I know he's good, but why is he playing on the left wing there? That doesn't make sense whatsoever. Okay, oh, Felix Longren is out. But still, that doesn't make sense still. So, um, yeah, Larsson, uh, Siglund, I know Kroon is playing in the wrong position, but he probably can do it. He's good enough. Um, Kroon, Simo Kroon there. Larsson, Saric... And Teolind. So yeah, we have played. I probably could check the or show you the. 
division as well, so we are fourth there. Our goal difference is really good, 14 plus goals. And yeah, just two points up. Queeding and Gaff is fighting for a um, direct promotion. Then we have Kalsta there behind before us, but behind the other two teams. Boober, I'm not being impressed by him. Oh, sounds just been better and Max Logan of Lexram seems to always do it good. That's that he's inconsistent, but I'm not sure if I agree with that. He's still over seven. I feel well, like he might be <clears throat> the next one after Birison. Because I'm not sure that Birison is going to play a lot. Because he is not really good enough. But I'm thinking of still keeping him since I like those players that. I met something and have been a long time in the club and they still don't cost that man much, so yeah, okay. How many regions do I want? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, You're in the region fight, whatever, so yeah, we, this might be a little bit shorter, this might just be like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, I thought, why not? Why not make this a little bit shorter? Because last episode was pretty long, just go through all the transfers. I hope you do not mind there being like sort of mixed how long the episodes are. So yeah, but this is definitely a tough match. I don't, don't expect us to get any points from here. But if we do... And for God's sake, I hate that. The one to change that. I'm just going to go on the Oscar Larson. Well, that was not great. <laughs> the best shot I've ever seen. Why the. That's annoying. Why does it change? I always had the table. Now it's like, no, you don't. Email. Oh, great scene there. Win back the ball, will the counter from you? Yeah, okay, well, good there, Kellerich. You should play more. It's just the problem that Danielson and I have uh, Larson there is like a way better than those two. I feel like or they at least played really good. They didn't know, they did not ask us to go up, so as long as we are top half position with definitely fourth place are we should be fine. I hope <laughs> they don't come back. Well, that was not challenging for the top half. Top half, we met uh, top three. <laughs> yeah, I hope they're not going to be like that. And then we don't even have any left back. That's just great. Well, I'm at least going to change up here. and It might be silly, but I'm going to do it still. Or if I should, I guess I could put you there. Lawson can, after all, play as a left winger. Eh? It's not his favorite role, but let's just try it if it makes any difference. None of the strikers here either mean great here. Augustson, great save there by Linnell. Ooh, great chance there by Lawson. Now, I uh, thought it would go going to a player in the end of the box. Saric we have as well, that's not that great, and Savstrom is not. Uh, Oscar Savstrom, of course, now now he does assist when I said, well, he's not doing as good. Obviously he's doing good <laughs> if he can. Well, I guess it's just the cross in there. Great head in there, and we are 1-0 up. I would love to say that he's done it brilliantly, but no, he's not done anything here. Now he's just going to score and I'm going to regret um, getting me out of this game here. Yeah, I don't know, it might actually be fast now. I don't know. Might slow it down a little bit. I just have it on that. I think it was just to go through the preseason or whatever. That was very frustrating. Oh, well, Alson. Yeah, he can score on the <laughs> wrong position as well. And we are 2 0 here. So, Tunison, that's. Yeah, he's kind of overachieved. 
and then it's laying and then a f great fruit bowl there and uh, almost looks like a half wall there so very nice 2-0 uh, and I wasn't thinking for the week after that episode but that was good way of planning oh that's a, that's just lucky that's not great by brew but that's just luck that's just pure luck that it actually goes to because if the defender did not do it bad there it's good by Lekstrom the whole way through I mean this 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 is just lucky that the defender doesn't uh, are like far away. It isn't great, but <laughs> the problem I've given him like no, he's still the worst player. Yeah, that was just that was wasn't like standing where you should stand. So well, he's been a negative surprise <laughs> of the new players. Elsewhere they've been really good. So let's see here. Who takes one? That's not any difficult matches. We have a break. Not really. Queeding. That's not too far away. Um, yeah, probably Dark Curd would be the match. Um, I was thinking, but I don't know how many matches it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten. Maybe we should still do those two. Even if it's like three matches in between. So probably Dalt could. And then we would do a double live come against Karlstad uh, football away. Uh, football. Uh, and uh, Diablo away. There. That, that, those would be really tough. Especially if we're still fighting for promotion. But the end of the... Season here, it's not that Kalskrona is ninth. Hudiksvall is mid table, nothing to fight for. Enskild is bottom, and Solentuna is bot is 13th. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, 23 points there, and yeah, Dalkurd is still undefeated, surprisingly. Uh, well, we could see here before we, since it's such a short episode. We have scored most goals, four goals more, but we don't. Uh, I mean, eleven goals just can see, and that's still pretty good. And especially if we, since we changed the goalkeeper, like, and not have the same in every match, so yeah, it looks good. But as you can see, it's it's like a top five now, four points down, or even five points down to Dalker, So it's basically a. Yeah, Top 6 fighting for it. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a good tea. And a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So 